Hey guys, this is Pavan Oguri. So I've recently completed third year B.Tech in uh, Bennett University and I've been enrolled uh, from the past four to five weeks as a intern in the leading India.ai organization under the supervision of uh, Sunit Gupta sir. The project assigned to us was image painting. So what is image painting? Uh, it basically means that when we take an image and we have noise or an unwanted object in the image, we remove it. Uh, so we can remove it using uh, image processing methods and uh, deep learning methods. So we are more interested in the deep learning approach of the project. So we used uh, GANs or uh, Generative Adversarial Networks to uh, tackle this uh, problem. So uh, I'm a, a very beginner to this uh, whole deep learning aspect. Uh, the workshop that was conducted and uh, the mentorship under the mentorship of Sunil Gupta sir, I've learned a lot in this uh, uh, four to five weeks and uh, uh, I sincerely thank Bennett University for this learning opportunity. Reconstruction has been a big part of image processing. Today we'll be discussing about one of its applications, that is image in painting. And to implement image in painting, we are using two models. First is encoding, decoding, and the second is bilinear GANs. In this project, we are trying to accomplish image in painting using deep learning, which reconstruct the missing part of the image. Basically in image in painting, there is given an image with some region that was removed or unavailable. They are called patches. The task is to automatically fill the patches and the patches can be anywhere in the image. It could be any sized patch. So we have to implement the model and generate the output that should look more realistic. The data sets which we are using to train our model is CIFAR10, Celebe and Places. CIFAR10 consists of 60,000 images of size 32 by 32 pixels. Celebe data set is face attribute data set which has more than 200,000 images of different celebrities. Places data set is large scale data set for scenery understanding and it consists of more than 10 million images. In this image dataset, we have trained 28,000 images from Celebe and 20,000 images from Places dataset. My name is Ritwik Puri. I am a third year B.Tech student uh, interning at Leading India. So, as yes, yes, we explained about the problem statements. So, now I will explain about the different methods used to counter the problem. The most basic methods uh, used in deep learning are GAN, Generative Adversarial Networks, and Autoencoders. So, GANs are basically comprised of two ne uh, networks, a generator and a discriminator. The generator generates images and discriminator tries to discriminate between the images if they are real or fake. S uh, so, our aim in this is basically to fool the discriminator that all the images are real. So that is the basic working of a GAN and the autoencoder, uh, the second one is autoencoder. The autoencoder comprises of, of a neural network which has three parts, an input, uh, a middle which is also known as encoder and the output which is also known as the decoder. So the image goes through the input layer to the encoder uh, which tries to like uh, compress the image and uh, make it in smaller dimension and then the decoder tries to generate uh, the image back to its original size. So that is the working of an autoencoder. My learning journey in this internship was a bit of a roller coaster to say the least. Uh, like I went from uh, knowing nothing about the field to like gaining some knowledge about the field. Uh, and learning stuff uh, a basic such as teamwork and time management was a, a, a great part of a learning too as I uh, dealt with many many people who I didn't work with before. 
Hello everyone, my name is Sovik Mishra and I'm a B.Tech CSE third year student and uh, my job in this internship was to create a CNN model which would inpaint the areas which, is be which have been masked by the user. To do that, I created a partially convoluted uh, autoencoder decoder model. This was the second iteration of the model that we had tried uh, because there was one in which we cannot, uh, we could not get the loss to go any lower uh, with uh, having dropouts and all the methods. So what happens in partially convoluted autoencoder decoder is instead of supplying the single image into the convolutions, we, uh, we supply the image as well as the mask. So what the mask does is uh, it masks the area which is not supposed to be touched. So the convolutions work only on the pixels which are actually not part of the mask. And with each iteration of the convolution, we decrease the size of the mask as well with the size of the image. So in each step, both the mask and the image are being processed and all the pixels which are being worked on are the ones which are not covered by the mask. This helped us increase the dice coefficient and uh, provided us with much better results than uh, was coming out before. Uh, it also implements a unit like structure and uh, uh, uses the concatenation pattern which has been used previously in the other models as well. The other model which was created by Rithik Puri had certain drawbacks which was not being covered it has it had a lot loss uh, it, it had a lot of loss and uh, was not able to perform well on the test uh, data set and uh, this model was able to perform much much better and it has a dice, dice coefficient of 0.6052 which was a much more increased dice coefficient than the previous one and it had a very less loss compared to the previous one it had about 0 0.09 i guess and uh, which is exponentially lesser than the previous loss that we had so the learnings that i got out of this internship were of communication time management management in general and uh, just extensive research so i have uh, been working in my college projects with people who i know and i feel comfortable with but uh, this was a step out of my comfort zone and i had to work with people that i didn't know exactly and uh, we had our uh, issues which we had to tell each other and uh, then we had to address them by communicating effectively hello guys my name is mohammed ghalik qureshi and i'm currently interning with leading india ai and currently we're working on a in image imprinting project under professor sneeth as my team members have previously explained, we are working on an image imprinting project using two different approaches. As Ritwik and Sobhik has explained about the autoencoder approach, I will be working, I'll be explaining you guys about the generative adversarial network or GANs uh, we've used to, as in a, a, another approach to solve this problem. The GANs usually work with two main components. One is a generator and the other is a discriminator. The function of the generator is to produce an image using random noise and uh, the discriminator, the function of the discriminator is to identify if it is a real image or a fake image. As the model trains, the generator gets better and better and it tries to pass a fake image as a real image to the discriminator. So the, we use a generic discriminator, a generic GAN model, but earlier we faced a lot of issues with high loss function, high losses, and uh, what we then developed is using a special convolutional layer, which takes into account uh, the uh, context of the image. This approach was first mentioned in a research paper back in 2018, which was referenced in the model, in the report, 
and we developed on it and we've used uh, we've tweaked and used uh, different approaches to minimize the losses so each model the model takes in the surrounding parts of the surroundings of the missing part and tries to develop the texture images textures and color with relation in relation to the missing in relation to the surroundings of the missing gaps then what we've done is we've linearly stacked both the models and uh, the both models are similar but uh, the, they were trained on different data sets so the loss on each data set was very close to each other but the uh, each data set, the first data set was a celebrity data set which was mainly focused on facial images and the other data set was a places data set which was uh, based on the which was a uh, scenery images so the then the images then the both models were combined in the end to give a single output so this this approach has led us to get a better output when compared to a single model hi hi i'm giza from bennett university uh, i joined in the leading india summer internship program through this we can more so many more experience in this pandemic uh, though it, it's a tough time to attend an internship through virtual conference but leading india dot ai and our mentor sunit kumar gupta sir uh, have well uh, worked perfectly so that uh, our project has been completed through his uh, through his uh, mentor's help so i just want to say thank you and uh, we have uh, through this internship program we have gained more knowledge on the image uh, running models uh, like uh, conversion neural network layers and this again and my work my related work through the, in this pandemic is, in this program is uh, i have tried different different models like uh, conversion neural networks uh, regarding the auto encoding and deep. hello my name is bharat ahuja and i am from bennett university and i was hired as an intern at leading india ai and i was tasked with the development of the front end of the application and integrating the back end that is the models to the front end and creating it and making it visually appealing was my task and i will walk you through the application right now the front end is created using the flask and you are hosting it on a flask server and a whole lot of modules the dependencies are listed in the requirements.txt file and we are going to host this whole project on github so you can take a look at it okay so uh, this is the root directory the web app and all the required files are listed in this this is for the front end and the model is right here in the model runner folder you can see the code of the model is right here okay so now let me show you the website let me go to the terminal I'm gonna I'm gonna write flask one. So uh, as you can see, I'm I'm in this web app directory, uh, flask web app. I should switch to this directory, then then write the command flask one. Okay. So now let's go to the website. So this is the website. I'm gonna go to the app. And here I have a list of options that I can choose from. Auto the our uh, part was the auto encoder decoder. I'm going to select the image. Okay, this is the image, and then I'm going to select the mask. Mask of the image. I'm going to click on open. I'm going to click on auto encoder decoder. I'm going to click on upload. And the model is being run on this two images right now. It's going to take a while.
Okay, so as you can see, we got the input that we just passed in and we got the output. The output is a 32 by 32 image that we got. Now I can go back and upload more pictures if I want to and run the model on those. So, yeah. I got to learn a lot from this internship and there's a lot to take away from this internship. I got to learn about working with different modules, about the working of the whole project and I learned some skills such as communicating effectively and the most important part of it was to was the research work was to search for data and to use it effectively I would like to thank Leading India AI for providing me with this wonderful opportunity